top billing. Top billing. Yo, top billing to ya. Buckeye Nation, guess who's back? Your boy is back after a little bit of a hiatus. Man, I told you guys what was going on here in the summertime or the off season. Um, mainly when it comes to content in regards to this particular channel here, Top Billing Sports. So I'm trying out different teams and everything, trying to see who will stick uh, to get that primary coverage here on Top Billing Sports in replace of Clemson. So you know how Ohio State is definitely in the running, and it's a team that I absolutely love to cover. Um, but I do have some skin in the game, so it makes it a little bit different, man, or a little bit difficult uh, when you do have a little bit of skin in the game, being as though I have someone um, on the team, Ohio State. So I definitely care. You know what I mean? But it's some teams that I, it's a team that I care about uh, regardless of that anyway. But before that, man, make sure you subscribe. You tell a friend to tell a friend that this is where it's at for Ohio State Buckeye coverage. Uh, make sure you blow these videos up and everything. So I'm going to be talking about my man, Jalen Gill. Everybody was asking me, man, do something on Jalen Gill. I had planned to do something on Jalen Gill right off the rip anyway uh, because you know I love those. Uh, first and foremost, this is a running back centric channel. Uh, it started off that way at least. And then, um, so guys like that with that type of running back background, but he's a special case, man, being as though he's going to be playing the H back. So I want to talk about the H back a little bit before I get into a film study on Jalen Gill, just a brief film study. Uh, the H back, I wonder if it'll eventually go away under Ryan day, just for the simple fact that if you've seen some of the previous stuff that I did, uh, being as though I, I know this guy. Um, as far as his scheme goes, way back to the Boston College days, he wasn't having any H-backs or anything like that. He's a real kind of pro-style type guy, at least back then. And uh, in a position like H-back really limits you um, with your slot receiver and some of the stuff that uh, he's done. So moving forward, is his team, he can mold it the way he wants it to. I wonder if that position will go away in that uh, in that type of manner that is used. So a guy like K.J. Hill is more your traditional um, H back slot receiver type, uh, a guy like Jalen Gill is more in the mode of a Paris Campbell, who I said on this channel, I wasn't even covering Ohio state or anything, but I said he was the biggest freak in all of college football. And, uh, he proved that to be the case at the NFL combine. So I think a guy like Jalen Gill is very much in his mode, right? However, I wonder if that position, uh, will go away in the future because if you're an NFL guy like Ryan Day, you've been in the NFL, you want these guys to be prepared for the NFL. And there's no slight against that position. But if you've seen guys previously, you see the learning curve from a guy like Curtis Samuel, uh, Jalen Gill and all these guys going into the NFL uh, where it doesn't necessarily translate. So you don't learn the entire route tree. And um, in, in your spacing, a lot of that is just a lot different, man. You you really learn only how to run two or three different routes, even though you run it um, ad nauseum and you become really good at those particular routes. And they just really try to manufacture and get the ball in your hands. Um, it doesn't necessarily translate to the NFL. But with that being said, man, let's go ahead and get to it. But uh, we also got to talk about my boy, Justin Fields. I always got to do some Justin Fields stuff. Can't wait to see Justin Fields. Uh, do his thing right there. Oh, man, you got to check out your boy right here, man. The top billing, top billing underground king wear here. Got your uh, a Justin Fields mock-up right here. Probably put these bad boys on sale. We'll see what's going on right there, but I'm doing really good with my Georgia stuff. So um, let me lean back here. This cat, this cat is just incredible. I'm telling you, man, he's going to be uh, very good for the Ohio State Buckeyes. So I'm anxious to see how Ryan Day will use this cap. But Fields to Gill, get used to saying it. Obviously, Fields to Hill as well. But Fields to Hill and Fields to Gill in the future, it's going to be dynamic. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and get to it. Subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Real men, watch to the end. Hashtag real football heads. All right, check this out, Bug Nation. So obviously, my man working at running back, which he naturally is. And also, my, oh, man, I don't know. Kind of gets me teary out thinking that he won't be a running back. It's very much an Ezekiel Elliott like quality to his running uh, with that type of speed. And I think, obviously, being with that strength and conditioning program, he gets bigger. But man, I don't know, man. I just love this right here. The fact that you get to get the ball in this man's hands uh, from an H back, it's not totally bad. All right, we see right here, working the power concepts. Got a pull from the guard here. 
So he's able to follow blocks in that manner. I still think they should work him in that running back a little bit, man. Especially if you think that the death is not there um, right now, which don't get me wrong. It, it will be. It will be. Master Teague, still Chambers and these guys. But, man, look at the vision of this guy, man. Stick that foot in the ground. Get up, Phil. Now, nah, just by looking at this, I'm really good about looking at people's speed. I thought Paris Campbell would be like a 4-2 cat. To me, he looks uh, kind of more like a four, kind of 4-4 four, four cat. Maybe like 4-4-0, four, 4-4-1, four, oh, four, four, which is extremely blazing. No doubt about that. But, man, what a weapon. Feels to Gill. All right, so I think one of the major differences between Paris Campbell and Jalen Gill may be short area uh, agility or droidness, whatever you want to call it, uh, the ability to make somebody miss in space to be able to break down like that. Paris Campbell, hell of a straight line speed guy, one of the fastest dudes I think I've seen with the ball in his hand. But Jalen Gill has that similar type of speed, maybe not as much speed, but he definitely has a little bit better of agility. Check this out right here. Oh. Ooh. All right, looks like we have some time, some type of backside T lead. Could be. Looks like it's just a G lead right there. So your guard coming around right here on the G lead. See it right there. You see a major breach though. Major breach right here. And my man's able to make and break down and make guys miss in space in tight quarters right here. So see it right here. Makes him miss, but here's what it comes to. Look at this, man. Crouching Tiger hitting Dragon. Gets the feet to shuffle and then hits him with the dag leg. Look at this. Oh, oh, look at this dude. He ain't know what was going on. Look at that. Right here. Oh, hit him with the muscle relaxer right there. That That's the best thing. That's the best thing for you. You can't make the tackle, right? At least let your man relax those muscles right there because you can sleep good tonight. So his muscles are all relaxed. I think he had to go and hit somebody else with one too. So see him right here. Oh, you know, another man with the muscle relaxer. Everybody sleeps good tonight. Look at him. He's already sleeping. So think about that there. When you're getting the ball to this guy in space, be able to make somebody miss. Doesn't necessarily have to be on the reverses um, and the drags and stuff like that. You're throwing this guy quick hitch hitches. Maybe he's making someone miss. Maybe you throw him toss sweeps and stuff like that as well. Uh, a lot of different things you can do with a guy like Jalen Gill. All right, real quick for the people who are watching this who aren't necessarily Ohio State people and they want to know, like, what is an H-back? Why does he keep saying H-back? Does he mean halfback or something like that? Uh, this would be an H-back right here. This is actually Jalen Gill, his only catch of the season. Uh, we can see him uh, multiply that by, like, 40, hopefully, this season right here. But you'll see him um, going with the tight end. So what you're going to have right here is inside crossers, right? Inside crossers. This is the uh, Paris Campbell special right here. Get that natural rub action right here uh you see the tight you see a nasty split right here a reduced split cut split right here a man's running an inside curl right there and you see it kind of a mirror is mirrored on the other side as well even though he's out a little bit more so see right there that's pretty much just a chain mover on fourth and six um but you get it to a man like this out in space and you can see um how he can kind of outrun the coverage or whatever like that. You'll see it a lot more. This is, this is just a, a little bit of really nothing, but just to show you what an H-back is. All right, right there. See him on that. You can tell he's just coming. He needs to be a little bit more imaginative with his cross around. Maybe throw somebody a little bit of a shimmy, a little bit of a shimmy shoulder right there, kind of get him off balance a little bit. But he's already on the man's hip pocket right here. You can see all the congestion right here. You got the referee. Um, you got the, the tight end come in here as well. So it's going to be a lot of commotion, a lot of traffic there. So he's going to come underneath the traffic. Excellent play development by your man, Ryan Day. You just get him in all that space right there, man. So you can see why that wouldn't necessarily translate to the NFL because you're not going to run crosses all day get in the NFL. You're probably not going to see all man coverage either. So when they can get you in these man coverage situations like this, man, uh, you're pretty much toast because what are you going to do with that? You know, for sure. But with that being said, man, it's your boy Murph, the Underground King. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, this is where it's at for Buckeye coverage. Let's make Buckeye coverage uh, the best coverage outside of my Georgia and Alabama coverage. So it can be 
the primary coverage uh, moving into the season and from henceforth. All right. So with that being said, I am out. Peace. What more can I say? Top billing. Top billing.